The first problem I'm going to be talking about is number one for algebra problems of the week. And so the first line is y equals kx plus 14. And the second line is y equals x plus 28. So what I first did was graph line m, which is y equals x plus 28. And it's this one. It's the point that are passing through negative 28 for the x-axis and 28 for the y-axis. And so the first thing I tried to do was um, find the border lines, which are these two lines. And what the border lines are trying to tell is that the value of k has to be between these two lines. And the red line right here is y equals 1 half x plus 14. And the line here is parallel to this line right here. And it is y equals x plus 14. So the value of k has to pass through somewhere in the negative section of the y-axis and below negative 28 in the x-axis to intersect in quadrant number 3. So here and right here to intersect here. But it cannot... Uh, be lower than the line that passes through negative 14 and 14. So, this one right here. Therefore, the value of k has to be between y equals 1 half x plus 14 and y equals x plus 14. So, the inequality can be written as 1 half is less than k, which is less than 1. So, the border lines are, as I said, y equals 1 half x plus 14, and y equals x plus 14. So these two lines. Thank you. The second problem I'm going to be talking about is number two on algebra problems of the week. So the first thing I did was trying to organize it. So the first door, one pound equals nine cents, and the carpenter would be short by $7.15. And the second store, one pound equals six cents, and uh, the carpenter would have two point four or five dollars left, and so I will be setting up an equation. Y would equal the total amount of money it would cost to buy the nails, and X would equal the number of pounds. So the first door's equation would be Y equals nine nine X minus seven point one five, and the second door's would be Y equals six X plus two point four five. What I'm going to do now is try to get X alone. So I will plug in the y from here, 9x minus 7.15 into here, the second floor equation. So 9x minus 7.15 equals 6x plus 2.45. And I try to get rid of the 6x, so I subtract 6x from both, both sides and get 3x minus 7.15 equals 2.45. And then I get rid of the 7.15 and get 3x equals 9.60. So I divide by 3 and get x equals 3.20 pounds. Then I'm going to plug in the x into the first door's equation. So it was not, it was originally y equals 9x minus 7.15 and became y equals 9 times 3.20 minus 7.15, which becomes y equals 28.80 minus 7.15, and which will become y equals 21.65 dollars. Therefore, the carpenter is trying to buy 3.20 pounds of nails, which cost $21.65. So this is my check right here, and what I did was just plug in the y and x values into both equations, and they both 